What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Tommy Clark, I'm a certified nutrition coach. And today we're introducing a new kind of mini series to the channel. which is a viewer Q&A or subscriber Q&A. And I'm taking these questions from my Instagram DMs or down in the comments. So if you have any questions following this video that you want me to answer individually on, uh, on the YouTube channel on a video like this, leave a comment down below or follow me on Instagram at tclarknutrition and just shoot me a DM. And either way is fine. And I'll make sure to answer those questions individually for you in our conversation, as well as answer them here on the YouTube channel as a way to help other athletes too. So if you like more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and uh, there's new videos coming out every single Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And then for today's Q&A, we actually have a question from Maddie Ying. Uh, he messaged me on Instagram asking, also, this may seem like a stupid question. No such thing as a stupid question, by the way. Uh, this may seem like a stupid question, but are there any benefits to eating processed foods like candy? A study in Zach Levine in an interview, he said that he eats Skittles before every game. And I know that might just be his pregame routine, but I'm still wondering if that can actually be beneficial. And as with anything with nutrition, you guys know, know me by now, I always say it depends, and it's the same thing here. Am I gonna go out of my way to recommend that you eat Skittles before every single game? Probably not. There are other more beneficial options like whole food carb sources, and I would much rather see you eat those. But I can see the rationale uh, physiologically behind eating Skittles before a game or behind eating any sort of processed uh, carbohydrate dense food before a game like Skittles or any other candy really. As we know, carbohydrates are gonna be that fuel for your training, or in this case, for your game. One of the main priorities, like we discussed in the pre-workout nutrition video that I did a couple weeks back, one of the main priorities before your workouts, before your games, is to make sure your fuel stores are topped off. So make sure your muscle glycogen stores are filled up completely. By having something high in carbohydrates, whether it be a whole food source like white rice, or something like Skittles, a carbohydrate is a carbohydrate that's gonna help you to top off your muscle glycogen stores. Now, again, would I go out of my way to recommend eating those Skittles right before you play? Not necessarily. Um, if you do do something like that or implement some sort of processed foods to help you meet your carbohydrate intake or calorie intake or whatever it may be, I'm not gonna be totally against it because as always, we've gotta find something that works for you and if that works for you, then by all means, go ahead. Another thing we wanna consider as well, and I would say this aspect of things is more important than even the physical aspect of things, the mental side of it. And the whole idea of having this pregame ritual, this game day routine, so to speak. For Zach Levine, as we use in this example, for him, who knows? I don't know if he's been doing this his entire career. I don't know if before every game since the sixth grade, the dude's been smashing Skittles. If that's the case, that's probably part of his pregame routine and not only helps him potentially physically through what we just talked about, but also mentally in terms of kind of a, a, a physical cue to get his mental state in the right place. Another example of this is the Golden State Warriors used to have this tradition of eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich before every game. If you look at the macronutrient composition of a PB&J, not very optimal when it comes to maximizing performance. It has a lot of fat in it, which we talked about in the pre-workout video, how that's gonna slow down digestion and have you feeling a little bit sluggish and slow down how quickly food leaves your stomach. So not necessarily optimal, but from a mental standpoint, it's something they enjoyed. It was part of their pregame routine. And when this new dietitian or nutritionist came in and tried to get them to overhaul that and take it out, the players got mad. And they actually reintroduced it back in because it was so ingrained mentally into their pregame routine. So this might be a similar situation for Zach Levine like, we talked to, like we're talking about right now. So that's also important to take into consideration. And remember, if you're gonna walk away from this video with one thing and one concept, have it be this. The most important thing to remember and the most important thing to focus on before your game is how you feel both physically and mentally. So obviously we wanna make sure you're eating something that makes you feel good. If Skittles don't mess with your stomach or if candy doesn't mess with your stomach or make you feel bad, I'm not necessarily against eating it, especially if it helps put you into a good mental place and it's just part of your routine that you've been doing for a while. Um, now, is the most optimal thing? Maybe, maybe not, um, but hopefully that helps kind of clear up the confusion around that. So. I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't go out of my way to say go down a pack of Skittles before every single game, but I also wouldn't be so quick to write it off, especially from the side of things of having it be a part of your like pregame ritual that gets you into a good mental space. So hopefully that answered the question. Um, if you guys have any other follow-up questions to this video or separate questions that you want me to answer on a viewer Q&A, definitely be sure to drop a comment down below. Drop a like on the video if you haven't already. 
subscribe so you get notified for any new videos like this Q&A or Two Minute Tuesday or any other, any other topic videos that I release. And uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. That's probably the best place to send me questions for this stuff. So make sure to follow me on there. But last but not least, I know a lot of requests, I know. But last but not least, if you haven't already, definitely go ahead and check out the free ebook that I have linked down below. It's like 40 pages, goes through the four most common mistakes that I see athletes make all the time when it comes to their nutrition. So if you haven't already, I definitely recommend to check that out. And there, I'm done with all the plugs. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, really appreciate you tuning in and I will see you for the next video on Tuesday. Thank you.